Because yeah, like, uh, I know you're a big fan of Anthony Bourdain too. And honestly, the reason why I first went to Vietnam was because of him. You know, I think he's it's like one of his favorite places. Yeah. yeah. His friend too lives in there. In yeah. Vietnam. So me and Charles, we actually went there together too, to Hanoi. And the first time I ever went to Vietnam was in Saigon. So I was just trying to think about, or just trying to see why Anthony Bourdain loved it so much. Oh. And when I went there, and I, I could see why. You know, it's just the heartbeat of the city. It's the culture, it's the food. And real talk, it made me realize or feel like I'm in 1970s Korea. Mm -hmm. Before Korea became all this crazy modernized, modernized you know, country or whatever have you, like that's the vibe that Korea had. And the crazy thing is, Vietnam is like developing ever so fast, like how mm -hmm. Seoul did. Mm -hmm. So when I see like Saigon now, mm -hmm. it looks like metropolis, metrop metropolitan, like New Yorkish, mm -hmm. and I see it developing so fast, like Seoul too. Mm -hmm. It's there's good things it's about good it. Good things and bad, right? Because yeah. you still want to preserve that culture, right? right? And then I'll be like a China. So I used to stay in China. So like, like in China, like you'll have like this fast growing like economy architecture, mm -hmm. like designs, like MMs, and even like AI, right? Yeah. But then at the same time, as, as you see like this beautiful, like, orchestrated building, design building, you'll see like next door is like this little like, um, old school hut, right? That yeah, is, like, random. Old school, like Chinese <laughs> random, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Or you'll still see like people like cutting people's hair in the street. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Like, yeah. the growth is so fast. It is. But I feel like it'll kind of be like, and I like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, countries like that are so old. Mm -hmm. uh, versus, say, like America, they're they're not as old. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think sometimes America is beautiful, but I feel like it's a little boring in my opinion. <laughs> uh, Kyla, I know you travel a lot too. Like, what what are some of your like favorite countries that you've ever visited? Well, Asia is always my number one place that like yeah. I would pay to travel to. Uh -huh. mm. But I have to say, I went to Bora Bora this past year, <gasps> oh, wow. and I just fell. Love. Really? I didn't understand because I work with another writer and he's like, I specialize in French Polynesia. Oh, wow. I was like, why? Because I figured it was like tropical, just like the Caribbeans or Hawaii. Mm -hmm. But it's just different. Mm -hmm. It's like my favorite place. Oh. I've not been to Bora Bora. No. So you it's like the resort, list. sandy beaches, white. Well, the only thing, like, what people don't know is like everyone goes to Hawaii, right. it's like five hours away. Mm -hmm. Bora Bora is a direct flight, eight hours. Oh. oh. It's like really close and really easy and, and it's cheaper. Times better. No, it's not cheaper. Not cheaper? Oh, okay. Tahiti is perhaps cheaper. Okay. Right. Yeah. There's a bunch of, like, there's a hundred something islands in Tahiti. So mm -hmm. Bora Bora is like a pricier one, but there's plenty of cheap ones mm -hmm. within there that are just beautiful. Mm. Do you just sense like the colonialism there? French colonialism when you were there? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Um, well, everyone speaks French. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the architect, maybe the buildings? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What's interesting is that there was um, Chinese Tahitian food, mm. um, which was really, really good. Mm. Yeah. So I'm going to reel it back to where we're kind of talking about in terms of the, the whole important scene that you guys were in. How'd you guys deal with like, the male fans. I know, like, even me and Charles were, like, fans of the whole import models and stuff like that. How'd you guys deal with some of the fans, some of the male fans? I want to know what you guys talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go first. Well, I don't think in person they were, like, they just run up and take a photo and run off, right? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that crazy. I would say worse than that was just, like, trolls online and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was, um, I guess really hard for me when I was 19 and new. Right. Now I don't give a shit because I'm like so hardened to it. Right. But when I was like just a teenager, it was really hard. Mm. Did you have any like crazy stories of like a male fan that ever tried to like get at you or like harass you? Or... I have a weird story. Okay. Like there was this kid who lived in my apartment uh -huh. and he was a kid, like 15 or something. Uh -huh. And trying to simplify the story. Somehow he figured out where I live. Uh -huh. And then I was somewhere, like I was in New York or something. And then my roommate came home and she was like, my underwear was just laid out on the floor. <laughs> what? Like all oh, creepy. And then somehow they found out it was him. Uh -huh. But he had thought her room was my room. Oh my 
God. Yeah, that's the creepiest. But he was like a 15 year old kid, so it wasn't like. It was probably really scary for her. Right. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> scary for me because I was gone. But otherwise, like, no other creepy stories. Did you have like a lot of like loving fans or like very supportive fans when you were kind of in that scene? I'd yeah. say both. Like, <laughs> there were definitely a I lot of shot. haters <laughs> for import models, yeah. <laughs> Becky, you're laughing here, and you're pouring yourself a shot. <laughs> that means you have a story to tell. Oh, What's up with your this shit? This is going to go public? I don't yeah. know that I'm going to get in trouble. Well, I mean, this was a long time ago, so I guess, uh, well, you know what? I'm dating my family. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I want to hear this. I want to hear this story. Go ahead. Well, no, aside from that, like, uh, like, in general, like, fans, like, I love them. I appreciate them, everything. I think when it comes to personal space, for sure, I think girls are worse than guys in my opinion but really and yeah like they they stay with you they linger with you what i'm doing to her you know i'm asking <laughs> <laughs> but no like they they really like they embrace your personal space and they just don't leave right but um with guys i've had and it wasn't okay i wasn't threatened they actually seemed like they protect me mm -hmm. but i have guys i actually found out my home address oh shit they would send me stuff but they'll send me Stuff. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> what kind of stuff do they send you? Thank God I moved, so no one knows where I live now. But oh, wow. um, they'll send me like, like gifts or like shoes, bikinis, mostly bikinis. <laughs> <laughs> Typical, right? So um, yeah, so that's that's that. But a lot of times, like I'll, I'll come across a lot of people who've known me for like a while, uh -huh. and um, yeah, and then. So you dated your one of your fans? They know me for a while and I didn't know. Uh -huh. I got to know him for who he was. Uh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? How did that? Is that your hurt? <coughs> no, no <laughs> comment. <laughs> <laughs> and they got to know me for who I was. Wow, that's awesome though. I mean, yeah. in a weird way. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they, they just can't have And then um, while we're saying that, I think the noodles are here. Oh, oh let's see the noodles. Awesome. You guys see that? She could have already cut. Oh my god, I'm so full. Yeah. Are you guys, are you guys full? Yeah, I was starving all day. Good <laughs> lord, we killed so much food. This place is awesome, isn't it? So good, yeah. so good. Like, I am impressed. And next time we're coming back, uh, we're getting definitely the same thing that we got, which is a combo A. Mm -hmm. So for everybody that's uh, wondering what we got, it's the combo A, the first thing on the menu. It feeds up to like four to five people. It has like, mm -hmm. I don't even know how many courses, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, we got the noodles, we got the rice, the soups, like eight different kinds of meats, side dishes and all that stuff. You know, we just ate so much and I just have to thank Hanu KBBQ again for having us. And again, special thanks to you guys. You know, thank you for, you know, taking this time to come eat with me uh, at Asian Happy Hour. I'm just glad that we got to chop it up and everything. And I, I know we talked a lot about, you know, you know how it was for you guys to become import models but at that time did you guys even have in your mind that you know you guys would be like the the the, the, the way maker to pay you know you, you you paved the way for a lot of like asian americans especially like in the you know entertainment field the modeling field did, you, did that ever even cross your mind at that time when you guys were doing this yeah i never never crossed my mind at all now right no i mean if you really think about it I'm like, like thinking back i'm like oh i'm like you know what i mean no yeah. no seriously it did because i mean if you look back at it there wasn't much asian american content out there yeah there wasn't really any movies reality shows you know k-pop didn't really hit the stage and at that time yeah. so us like asian americans we had to look somewhere mm -hmm. for asian content and literally when the whole import scene came about uh -huh. like it gave us a sense of pride you know you know albeit it was like sports cars and like with models and forever for, wherever have you it really gave even opened up ways for like the party scene mm -hmm. it made us look cool it made us feel cool too mm -hmm. so i mean i just have to give you guys flowers today you know this wow. is really yeah i mean <laughs> it, a yeah it's a give you guys the, like, your flowers <laughs> oh shit not actual physical flowers <laughs> Maybe we should have prepared it. Okay, Charles, take note. Next time, we yeah. bring you flowers to these ladies. Yeah, yeah. Back. yeah. It's just give you a little heart, yeah. heart, heart to care, heart to you guys. Thank you.
But um, yeah, you know, I just want to give you guys this flowers for like you know really paving the way for Asian Americans and Asian American content, you know. And you know, if you look back at it, and then now that we've kind of discussed that too, like how do you guys see in the future of like Asian American media, Asian American content, and so forth too? Honestly, I think it's fine because like Asians own the internet and uh -huh. the internet is king right now. Right. And I think that you can see that Asian media start to take off with the internet and social media. Right. And now it's like mainstream with K pop and more and more film and television projects. Right. You know, I'm I feel like whatever we do, I feel like it was kinda of like ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. And the fact that like I see people are like going back into the industry who worked in it and they're going back into it now, it's awesome. I think it's definitely revolutionary and yeah, I don't that's that's my opinion on it, so. Any words to like future content creators that are Asian Americans, either film, modeling, music, just anywhere in the uh, entertainment industry, any uh, words for words of advice for the future? Don't care what anybody thinks. Mm. Yeah, just keep your head up, keep trying, um, stay focused, and you'll get there. And I've personally witnessed people who work so hard for these dreams to come true and they are Asian American and now they're just, they're just killing it. So um, as long as you keep your, your ethics on it and your, your beliefs on it, it will happen. Awesome, thank yeah. you. And just have fun enjoy and just have fun doing it. Right? That's the most important part. Yeah. And I, I'm, I just had a really great time. Did you guys have a good time tonight? Amazing. Yeah, and the food was amazing <laughs> too, right? <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, and um, hopefully if you, we can uh, see each other again for another episode of Asian Happy Hour, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Well, until sure. then, uh, until next time, cheers and uh, stay blessed. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you.